our conceptual vehicle. It is a coupe concept, it is a four passenger vehicle, and it is an e-rev vehicle, extended range electric vehicle. And that differs from other uh, electric vehicles that are out there because uh, things that run solely on electricity, uh, you have a, a much longer distance that you can travel. If you're familiar with the Bolt, and I'll explain it later, um, they can travel further on a full battery charge using no gas or producing no emissions, but the problem is, is once the battery's depleted, you have to plug it in and you have to wait for the vehicle to charge back up. Whereas with this vehicle, as is the Chevy Volt, the same propulsion system, Voltec from General Motors, the vehicle has the ability to go 40 miles using no gas, producing no emissions on a full charge, and then hundreds of miles beyond that because you can put gas or E85 in here to run the electric generator that's inside this vehicle. So just to be clear, so we're all on the same page, this vehicle only runs on electricity. It either gets the electricity from the battery or it gets it from that generator. That generator, unlike a regular engine that's out there, will not actually power the wheels. It's not actually going to drive the drivetrain. It's simply going to provide the electricity for the two 16 kilowatt electric motors that are in the front here. And it is a front wheel drive vehicle. Now, I want to talk briefly about it and then I'll answer any question you may have, but hopefully I'll answer your questions uh, talking about the vehicle through the presentation. Now that's how the Voltec system uh, is, propels the vehicle. Uh, the way that you're going to charge it is right here. You take the adapter, you plug it in, and you take the other end and plug it into a standard 120 volt outlet. That takes about eight hours to charge that. Now, 120 volt outlet is what everybody's got inside your house. As long as you live in a somewhat moderately wired home, you have a 120 volt outlet right there, you plug it in overnight, or perhaps when you go to work, you plug it in, whatever the case may be. Now, if you have a 240 volt outlet, which some newer homes do have as well, or and some of our charge stations will have when we uh, start working out the infrastructure later on with businesses and whatnot around the country, a 240 volt outlet takes a charge in just under three hours. So in the future, if you wanted to, you stop off, uh, maybe you eat at a restaurant, hang out for a little bit, and the car's charged up, and you're ready to go again. But ideally, this vehicle is going to work great for the people, about 75% of us that only travel within 40 miles in our daily commute, to work and back, uh, drop the kids off, run some errands, whatever the case may be. And uh, if you think about that, you could do all those trips and never have to give another dime to the gas company. Not at all. Or another, never put another single bit of emissions into the air. That's the idea. So you put a couple of these on the road in LA, they lose those beautiful sunsets, but their air quality improves quite a bit. So that's what we're looking at. This is definitely uh, going to be the future, especially because we already have the infrastructure in place uh, with outlets all over the whole United States. Now you notice this beautiful design. It's the reason why you came over here. It's the reason why you have those awards over there as well. And it's functional in addition to being dramatic and, uh, and bold. Look at the front here. The grill has no openings. The only openings you find are in the front fascia. The reasoning is there's no large radiator that you have to cool off. In fact, uh, what we want to do is keep as little air as possible from getting trapped under the hood because any air that goes underneath here creates drag, makes your engine work harder, reduces your miles per gallon. So we make it aerodynamic. That's the same reason, reason why you're going to find a full covering under the body of the vehicle as well. Again, aerodynamic purposes as are these wheels. These wheels and tires are specifically designed for us by Michelin. They are low roll resistance tires, meaning it doesn't take as much energy to roll them forward. And also, they're going to keep the air moving. In this case, let's say, uh, perhaps to keep as much air from possible from getting stuck underneath this wheel well. Same reason why you're gonna find no door handles. There's a pressure pad. You stick your hand in, press the pressure pad, door opens for you. And this is technology that's in our XLR right now. But at one point, it was a concept, just this idea. Another thing that you notice that's different, that again is helping with aerodynamics, is the lack of mirrors. There are no side mirrors, they're cameras. A right camera, left camera, and this is your rear view mirror or camera in this case. These three cameras are going to give you a 180 degree panoramic view of what's around the vehicle with no blind spots, all projected onto the three screens just above your speedometer. So what was once four looks at all your mirrors and over your shoulder is now one quick glance down and you know what's around you at all times. So in addition to uh, helping out the drag coefficients here, I think it's a safety feature uh, because you're taking your eyes off the road. And that's a fender bender right there. You don't want that. So now we look at the inside of the vehicle designed by our Warren team here in Michigan. Exterior was designed by our UK team, headed up by Simon Cox. Interior though, is a beautiful winter white, and really your best shots are gonna be in the video. Uh, there's those cameras that I was talking about, the uh, screens at the top there. That beautiful uh, screen, those LEDs, uh, those are OLED, excuse me, organic light emitting diodes in that screen right there. That's what you find in your high-end flat screens TVs because they produce some of the richest, truest colors possible and no matter what angle you look at them, um, I'm parallel with the screen right now and I can see perfectly what's on there. 
because of that angle, because of those OLEDs, they, the angle does not affect uh, the picture uh, itself on the screen. And those are going to be access to information like, you know, uh, battery charge, tire pressure, directions, whatever the case may be. And OLEDs are a little more eco-friendly as far as the process goes of making.